All right, what we got here is this Pittsburgh spill free radiator funnel kit from Harbor Freight. Includes five radiator adapters, caps to fit most cars and pickups, and farm tractors. And we're going to see if it works on this Kia. So, um, anyhow, let's see how it works. So, once you remove it from the package, you see you've got this little fake uh, antifreeze in there, and all the adapters come inside of it. Although I can appreciate the fake antifreeze, this thing does not have any directions. I mean, I'm looking on the inside of this packaging here. There's absolutely nothing. There's nothing, no directions on the packaging. Uh, you figure with this fake antifreeze, they could at least put maybe directions on the back of it. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. As you can see from, I've torn it completely apart. There is no instruction manual. So step one, this is the original radiator cap, so let's see which one closely matches it. It looks like this one, so we're going to use that. That's a good start. All right, the next thing I figured out is how to attach it to the funnel. So what I did was it's got many adapters. Like you see, this one closely resembled the original radiator cap. So you have to have a seal down here, so these have a little... You know plastic seal so you want it to go there so if I use this one and I put this one over that you'll see that it it just it doesn't doesn't seal because there's no spring load in there you see so but if I take this one this one here has a little space so you see this little thing there so I'm going to take that Put it over that and now i've got some resistance where where it makes a tight fit so i think that's the one we need and the next step is getting this so that looks correct now how to burp these things this little thing comes out so i imagine i could pour antifreeze right into here it would go in but what is this for i have no idea let me see if i can figure it out after extensive research, this is just to keep it from spilling. So what you can do is you can fill your antifreeze up to maybe here. When you pull this out, it will go ahead and drain into the radiator. And when it, and you let it sit and run and it burps, it will, uh, it will eventually uh, burp itself out. Radiator fluid will go down. And let's say you still have this much uh, antifreeze in there. Then you can cap it off with this and you just pull the thing off and you can re uh, take whatever's left in here and put it back into the container. Obviously, there are so many different sizes and types of cars. You have extensions and other things too, even for plastic radiator um, areas. So this is a Kia, so we're gonna use this Peak Asian uh, vehicle antifreeze. And as expensive as this stuff is, you do wanna save it. You don't want it going all over the ground. We'll put just about that much in it. Now, this particular radiator was completely uh, completely drained and uh, the radiator hoses were removed. So now I'm going to pull the plug and hopefully it doesn't leak. And as you see, it's burping itself. It's going in. I do not see any leaks. We can take this out here. So I will continue to do this until it no longer burps. Kind of satisfying watching that. Of course, we want to make sure we've got no leakages under here. I do not see anything leaking. And again, I bore you with this burping noise. Now this is where this comes handy. You just fill it up and let it burp. And instead of pulling that funnel out and wasting all that, all I've got to do is take 
take this plunger and put it in there and stop it. And see, it's really slowing down. I'm just going to let it burp. And then I will turn it on and let it burp. And another way to help it burp, you see it over there. I can squeeze this hose and watch what happens. It sucks more in. And as you can see, about 10 minutes later, it is still burping because the air in that motor is rising to the top and letting it go down. Another about 10 minutes later, you can see it's still going down. And when it quits burping like this, I'm going to go ahead and start the motor, let the thermostat warm up and heat up and open up, and it'll probably take some more. Then we have to fill the reservoir also. As you can see, it's now empty, so I must open my second bottle. Now, I'm not going to completely fill this up because it should be getting pretty close to full. So after another five minutes, it finally quit bubbling, so it's time to start it up. Now once I started it up, it started bubbling a little bit more, more going into the motor. Now that the motor's heating up, as you can see, it is empty. We will continue. Okay, so now you can see this Kia is pretty much at operating temperature, and the radiator hoses are warm, which means the thermostat has opened. I've filled this and it is no longer burping, so I would say it is full. All right, so now we're gonna test the purpose of this plunger. So see how it burped it, and but I still have some in there. So the purpose of this plunger is to put this in here. So you can see it going down up in there. And I should be able to lift this off and not spill hardly any, which is correct, it worked. Then I'm going to take it over here to my antifreeze jug and I'm going to open it up and put it back in. And by the way, these are all Harbor Freight Braun shop lights in this very large shop. So if you want to see my video on these lights, you can check the, uh, the little description either up here or down there or wherever it shows up. Although it didn't come with any directions, it wasn't too hard to figure out. So I would say this is a win. I wish Harbor Freight would have put some type of directions in there, but uh, hey, that's why you got me on YouTube. So um, I hope this helped you make an informed buying decision. Y'all have a great week.